had someone recently comment on my YouTube channel. Um, they wanted to know, why am I getting PCOS? I'm not even 18 years old. So I wanted to create this quick video on PCOS just to explain the simplicity of it so you really understand it. Polycystic ovarian syndrome. Poly means many. And then we have the word cyst. Okay, many cyst. But in reality, it's not true. It's not really cyst, it's follicles, but I'm not gonna get into that. But for right now, just understand that there's these little bumps growing and there's many of them on the ovary. Okay, so we have polycystic ovarian and then syndrome. Now a syndrome is not necessarily a disease. It's suggestive of a disease, but it's a disorder having more than one symptom that suggests a disease. Okay, so, all right, so what are the symptoms? Infrequent or prolonged menstrual cycle, excess male hormones as in androgens, infertility, excessive hair growth throughout your body, thinning of the hair on your head, acne, and insulin resistance. Now, if you look up this condition on Wikipedia, it will give you a lot of general information that, that is not very helpful. Uh, they'll talk about the cause being genetic. They'll talk about the cause being potentially environmental. Also, they will tell you that PCOS has no cure, but it can be treated with metformin. Anytime you're trying to figure out some mysterious medical condition, um, realize that there's usually one key factor that you need to know to figure it out. There's one piece of information that explains everything. And that is rarely, if ever, found on Wikipedia or the first page or second page or third page on Google when you do searches. And so one thing that I'm really interested in is doing videos on that key piece of information so you can figure everything out. With PCOS, the key piece of information is this. High androgens can be caused by high levels of insulin, okay? That's what you need to know. In other words, every single one of these symptoms right here is coming from high androgens because you have high levels of insulin. Now, what's interesting is that they rarely ever check insulin levels. They'll check your blood sugar levels. Now, you cannot determine what's happening with insulin by checking your blood sugars because you could have normal blood sugars yet have high levels of insulin because the insulin resistance will buffer some of that blood sugar response until a certain point where it can't buffer it and then it can't compensate and you become a pre-diabetic and a diabetic. But for right now, all you need to know is that your high androgens are coming from the high levels of insulin. That's why they treat with metformin because metformin treats insulin resistance, which will help regulate your insulin levels and help normalize them, okay? But what's behind high levels of insulin? Well, if you're new to my channel, I have every almost every single video I have is related to that one topic. You need to do healthy keto and intermittent fasting as your primary eating plan to help you regulate your insulin levels. And then get your PCOS reevaluated because you are probably gonna find that you have a lot less problems with this disorder. Why? Because you're getting to the root cause. If you're new to my channel and you want to know what to do, I put a link down right below of exactly what you should be eating.